Alright guys, it is Friday, and I definitely look like I've been hungover all night, but I'm not. So it's a perfect day for a sunglasses review, right? So, the next one in the series, this is the Skylinks. You might remember I mentioned that before in the video for the brown links or the night links, because it's kind of a split difference between the two. So this one gives us that darker yellow cast. It is a much, much darker, more comfortable lens for bright light situations. Basically think of this as a dark version of the night lens. So you get that really high blue light blocking percentage again, and you'll see it cuts down almost all that reflection on the lens surface, even in this one. With, of course, as before, we've still got that bi-shaded mirror, more pronounced from the darker lens surface, blocks very large percentage of the IR spectrum as well. In this case, 82% and 100% UV. So that's going to be hard to beat in that part of the spectrum. This one's designed more for skiing or high elevations where you need that bright contrast, but you still need it to be really dark and protective from the sun's rays, among other things. And besides, it looks really cool in this frame too, right? All right. Well, that is all I've got on the sky links for now. Pretty simple lens after going over the night links already, but a ton of benefits there, and of course much darker again. This one gets us down to 92%, so only 8% light transmit. It's great stuff for people like me that love it dark. But I've got another lens that's even darker. We'll get to that one next, but for now, you guys have a good weekend.